the iPad Show, episode 44. It is a new year, and we're here to bring you something that will help you achieve your goals with your iPad. Let's do this. And Lane! Inside the control station, a team of specialists with ultra-sensitive electronic equipment. These men are waiting for the climax of a dramatic experiment they've been working on for many months. An experiment known by its code name as... The iPad Show. Hey everybody. How you doing? Welcome to the iPad Show. That is what this is. (laughs) It is a new year. 2011 who would have thought we would make it this far uh well you know i like to think we could i do and i like witty banter no matter what people say i love my witty banter Uh, i'll keep it real witty for you then dave come up here on the 12 o'clock hour we got oh yes rain showers and snow because it's late really cold late night with the ipad show (laughs) <laughs> we've got uh, jennifer phoning in and this one goes out to her uh beloved listening in muskegon <laughs> <laughs> there you go inside michigan reference <laughs> <laughs> fit it in yeah. midwest for the win <laughs> woo, woo. this is the late night hour ipad show though we are recording in it the is. 11 o'clock hour yeah hopefully the ball so. will drop during our show but no, that was a different show. It's crazy. The people out it's on the totally West Coast are like, what are you guys talking about? You know what I mean? It's only like 7 o'clock out there, right? Yeah. So, but you guys suck. That's true. <laughs> They're night owls out there compared to us East Coasters. Oh, well. We'll get up bright and early. I think I was... Bu- Kick I, their butt in the morning. I think I was an intentional... I was like supposed to live in the East West Coast because I'm a night owl. Yeah. And I get up later and it's on time. By the, but if you lived on the West Coast, you'd probably be getting to bed when people on the East Coast were waking up. That's my story. That is my story. Pretty good workflow, though. Hand off some stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, so, it is. What do we got going on today, Dave? We've got a lot of cool apps to talk about. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of review some of the best apps uh, for helping you help yourself in the new year. Uh, we're going to talk about some cool ways that you can kind of adjust your lifestyle to match your goals for 2011. Awesome. New Year's resolution apps, pretty much. But and before we get into that... We do have a sponsor that kind of lines up with that as well. We do! I so mean, a lot talk of Talk about people, changing your life for the next year. Yeah. Get, get, get on track, people. Get on track. And a lot of people want to be educated. And the perfect educators for <laughs> your... A new season of life for 2010, 2011, actually. Yeah. Spring Arbor University. Uh, they are one of the premier Christian universities in South Central Michigan. And I'd say one of the best ones in the universe. Yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, yeah. Especially their online learning program. Yeah, that's what they really They've put their new teachers and gone back through the you know existing staff. Yeah. Through the ringer on this stuff, you know yeah. they are just completely online focused now. Mm-hmm. They've got tons of online stuff. They're they're really taking an online initiative here, and expanding their program. They're growing it. It's insane to be there. Like, um, I work on campus also for Spring Arbor University. You may see me there if you visit. Uh, I don't work on the website. No, I, well I do work on the website, but not the. Um, anyway. <laughs> Spring Arbor University. Not this one. <laughs> uh, go to www.arbor.edu slash online degrees to find out more about Spring Arbor University, what kind of degrees they offer. They've got great stuff. Everything from, uh, I think I had mentioned last time, they have communications, master's in communications, all the way to master's in or spiritual formation. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's kind of interesting, actually. Um, a lot of cool people are doing it. You should, too. My wife's doing it. You might be in one of her classes. It's yeah, fun. and it's a different kind of campus, too, because it's a Christian university. Yeah. Uh, and they really have a, a focus on, uh, I don't know, that thing called studying, I guess, you know. <laughs> yeah, for their, learning physical, for their physical school. campus. And they do <laughs> they do integrate kind of online, like the learning, the book learning with also spiritual learning. So it, it, it might be a little different for you, um, but a lot of people like it. So it's good stuff. And we highly appreciate it. Once again, www.arbor.edu slash online degrees to find out more. 
fun stuff. Awesome. So we're going to get into some iPad app reviews here on the show. Um, Boom. I'm still working on the uh, music for the the transitions. Yeah. We we don't have we don't have music yet. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Oh, now I can hear myself speak in my hey. ears. It sounds good. Hey. Oh. So, uh, the first one, I mean, we couldn't do a whole show of just like boring uh, weight loss apps or something like that. We wanted to really <laughs> give you something that you really want this time of year. And everybody is looking to waste time. So, maybe. This one will help you watch more TV during <laughs> your uh, during your New Year, uh, and it's called MediaFly. It is a online video application. MediaFly. Uh, let's open it up here. Look at this beautiful, nice green background here. You can pick your sources. Um, I was kind of surprised to see we are actually in this list here. Also, no way. Yeah. Our show is in the MediaFly directory of shows. So nice. you can you can choose channels. So let's go to MediaFly here. And you go through, you get all these. This is kind of like, if you know what Stitcher is, Stitcher's like, it streams yeah. video, or streams audio to your uh, phone or whatever. This is like that, but for video. Oh, wow. So it streams video content to your iPad. I've been saying that they need... A video kind of yeah uh, thing for Stitcher. So this is cloud-based podcasting for your device. So you don't have to download your shows ahead of time. You just subscribe to whatever you want to, and it streams it right to your iPad. Nice. So let's go into, uh, let's say, technology here. And we've got a bunch of shows loading up. And look at that. Right above iPad Today is another show <laughs> called The iPad Show. Your face <laughs> boom look at that so you can just click it and it brings open the little show page here once it loads up in a second once it loads up in a second i think i just crashed the app oh Ooh. relaunch Let's try it again here and w- once you when you're first loading up some of these shows here oh so <laughs> like, like <laughs> what does that look on your face uh that's my pre-show excitement look <laughs> pre-show haze um, <laughs> now this is what i noticed with our show because we are so popular and our feed gets hit so much it is a little slow for downloading the videos i have heard a couple of people mention that to me on the forums thank you so much for bringing that to my attention uh, but we do what we can uh, so it does take a little while for this to load up here. Whoa, look at that. It's like two of me. It's like me and me. <laughs> that's my look. Oh, that's, man. This is my this is my happy face. <laughs> did I did I do a good impression of myself? You just blew my mind. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm even wearing a different suit jacket, but it looks like the same one. Isn't that funny? Well, that's the magic of the camera right there. Mm-hmm. We actually green screened that other suit jacket on me. Let's force close this. Sometimes you have to do this with this app. So it's a little funky. See, it was running in the background. Let's launch it up again here. I thought that if you needed a task manager, you were doing it wrong. Hey, Steve Jobs is a genius, but sometimes <laughs> he BSs a little bit. Because that looks like a built-in task manager to me. Hey, it is. <laughs> so let's go back here. Let's watch something... Um, Something different. Or How about what, what Buzz do you Crew think? or Buzz Out Loud? No, they're boring now. Uh, are they? Oh, because they totally had a staff change, didn't they? Big time. Oh, Let's watch that chemistry. It's hard to hard to remake it. Uh, tech news today. Uh oh, this is a fun one. So it does the same thing. Loads up here. I think if you tilt this sideways, I can get some more. There you go. We're catching See, theirs is going pretty good. And it has these cool controls at the bottom. You can go backwards 10 seconds, or you can skip forward 30 seconds. So, like, if you didn't like this, you just skip past their little intro, and it takes you right to the beginning. Look at how well that worked. They have awesome. an exact 30-second intro. Way to go, guys. Way to go. Keeping it at 30 seconds. It. So, uh, we'll skip past their ads, because we don't want to show their ads on our show. Right. No kidding. Um, but... 
I you like get, that video, though. I mean, this is very yeah, nice. It, it is nice. And they give you a little description here at the bottom. Let me see if I can load up one of our shows again. Let's try this again. See if it works. This is pretty r- risky on the show here. <laughs> Maybe it likes this in landscape more. Maybe it does. Maybe it just doesn't like our video. Jeez. I have to contact them to see what kind of format they're wanting us to push them. There we go. So, down here, logo, shows that it's a video, gives you all the information about it. You can add it to your channels. You can add it to Preloader, which is, it kind of downloads it so it doesn't have to stream if you're having a slower thing. Mm. Uh, You can rate it, add it to your favorites. You can get more information on this show. So this takes in our show notes that are in our feed and brings it right into the app here. You can also see more about the series. This is also from our metadata in our show. Now, on the info, uh, if I can have you bring that up, there was a. It said more at the end. Is that a is that a clickable link? No, that is uh, our RSS press. feed truncates it. So. I see. Yeah. Yeah. But Don't they have all, all the this. Content. They have all this <laughs> stuff on here, like all sorts of preloaded stuff, and or you could uh, like do this preloading thing here, so it kind of down. Oh, that's why I was going slow because it's already downloading another thing that I had clicked on. Nice. So. Clear that preloader. See, the oh, video so starts up automatically. That. Yeah. Let's go back to this. Stop it. How do you stop? Right here. Yeah. So it was it was downloading two shows at once. That's why I was going a little slow. In the settings here, you can you actually create your account. So this will sync between your iPad, your iPhone, and they have they have so many different uh content platforms i believe they even have an android they do have an android app for this i they gotta do. check <laughs> they, have, they have web os they've got uh i believe they might even have blackberry but they've got like everything under the sun i looked and they didn't have a google tv app at app out yet but i could see this be a natural extension into google tv totally or in apple tv whenever they get their act together uh you can Say you only want to automatically preload audio apps or video or audio episodes or video episodes, or you can even do documents. Documents is a little weird, but it's kind of cool. The channels, I mean, it is just very neat that they have all these channels in here. Uh, you can add more channels, I believe, if you it's somewhere in here. It was a little difficult to f- try and find where all that stuff is, but you can clear out the preloaded content if you're. Device is getting a little full. Um, you can choose how often you want it to download or update your episodes. Of course, why would you not want it to do it all the time? And, oh, content sources right here. So you can pick different sources. They've got a couple loaded in here. They've got Twit and CNET and then some Mediafly specific ones. So they've got some music and some sports and some gaming and the Mediafly network that we have in here already. And really, this is just a really in-depth list of stuff in here. If we go into technology again, we can see, of course, our show is in there, the iPad show. Um, I believe we might have a couple other ones. I mean, there's some great stuff, Mac Break Weekly, uh, all of Leo's stuff. Um, I don't know. It's just a lot of stuff, more CNET stuff. So it looks like it's a little heavy on the the big established new media stuff. Bing, boing Boing stuff. Uh Pretty cool. Sounds and definitely weird. big established new media. Yeah, the the big new <laughs> media people out there. Uh, and gadget. The I love watching in gadget stuff. Big time. Yeah. So pretty cool. I wish it had a way that you could download previous episodes too. I guess if you add the channel. Yeah, you can either create or it must have logged me out. No, I don't think it did. Maybe it did. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> but it will sync across all your devices, which is super cool. So, it is uh, MediaFly, and it is absolutely 100% free. Um, I don't know how they do it. It's, it's, <laughs> it's <crucial>. magic. <laughs> total total, and complete magic, and it's magical how it works. It's It makes the iPad magical again, I must say. Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely checking this out for Android. It's a very impressive mm-hmm. app. It is. So I love and, the class, cross-platform aspect there. And I'd say one of the big trends we're going to see in 2011, 
is this cloud content stuff. Oh, yeah. Streaming is back, people. Podcasting was a big deal, but streaming is going to be a big Well, you know, stream, deal. streaming as long as you're on your local network. Cause right. Because we know how that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> these mobile networks are really starting to stick it to us. Yeah. Well, this will work over 3G also. So nice. You can eat up your plan content in no time with this bad boy. <laughs> Buy one of those daily passes or whatever. I don't for think unlimited. they have those. <laughs> they don't have those for at and No. No, you got to go to Verizon for that. Sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe we'll see that soon. Oh, yeah. Competition, I think, is, is driving it in that direction. Yes. So, all kinds of good stuff going on, though, right? Lots of good stuff. The networks are flexing their muscles and growing with the increased demand, the increased weight of all this video content. Where, where are you going with all this uh, workout innuendo? Well, our next application. <laughs> Our next application is for all those people who may feel a little bit overweight, like uh, myself. And me. And Lane. Didn't want to say anything, but (laughs) it's a little obvious. If you go to the wide shot, you'll see why we need a wide shot. I even got my, uh, my, uh, oh yeah, sure. Oh yeah. Kool-Aid. Hey, Kool-Aid. Yep. So, uh, (laughs) this application, (laughs) fitness class. This is a pretty cool thing. So you open it up, and, uh... You get just a basic screen here to start off. You know, loads up. It's loading up. Powered by Pump Pone. Pump One. <laughs> Not Pump Pone. What am I talking about? Powered by the shake weight. Yes. It does take a little while to load up. I don't want to. No, I don't want to sign up. But this is like, it's like a store. It's like an app store for workouts. Really? So this will work you out. Um, it is it is a free application with a caveat. You do have to pay for each one of these workout sessions here. So it I'm sure they have a couple free ones in there or something though, right? Yeah, I don't I think maybe just to give the uh, the idea but how it if works. you want your Bollywood booty <laughs> or your extreme body strikes or the total bundle. Dang. See like they just have tons of these silly things. Come on. And it scrolls across here. Nice. Very nice. Lots of stuff. I mean, this is like stuff that you go to a gym to get training workout for. There's one that I wanted to buy on the show here. Because I'm going to try this. I'm going to do this up. I'm going to be like the most fit nerd in the world. Not really. I think but that I need distinction something. goes to Carrot Top. I mean, you've seen how freakishly fit he is, right? No, but the I was thinking about I was thinking about doing the Bollywood booty, but I don't know if that would really work. <laughs> that might go me. down a long dark road that we don't want to channel. <laughs> yeah, so let's see if we can just the uh, jokes about it just endless. Start up one of these things. Is there something that's not totally inappropriate? <laughs> Sometimes workout videos just look creepy when people like us are watching them. Yeah, just a couple of guys huddled up in a room watching some workout videos. Oh, dude, they got the ball. Nothing to see here. They got this one with the balls. Ah. 30, oh, so you can... And this is weird how this works. You can get a 30-day pass where you can just purchase it straight up. You have to log into all this stuff. I don't want to log in. You can buy a 30-day pass, you got to log in. Preview. See, and this is what's cool about it. You can preview all these... Because really, when you're trying to work out, you need to find somebody that kind of clicks with you. The, Ooh, the style. Wait. The and video is formatted for full iPad. Oh, yeah. That is, that is nice. That is nice. So you can just set this up, use your little skadoosh stand or one of these bad boys, and uh, set that up and watch them go to town here and their yoga stuff that's weird. It's, Okay, we're gonna say it we're builds core that. strength. See, here we go, just right to the uh, the creepiness. The weird. What are they doing? <laughs> yeah. Like, Some things just don't pass muster when it's two guys sitting in a room. <laughs> yes. Um. Do they got any weight stuff? I want some real manly, manly weight stuff. Let's go by popular. Popular is always good. You know they weed out some of the creepiness. This guy looks cool. It's not. Uh, yeah. Patrick. Play ball in four. You can preview this. Let's see if Patrick's any, if he fits with my workout style. Oh yeah, I could, I could, 
I could do that. Look at that. Very nice. He's kind of going, working out there. It's it's simple workout, so you can just do it home. And it's cool that they show this little variety of things that you do in this. You can really work up a sweat. I was looking for some like some like I think there was like a barefoot one, like a barefoot workout. It was weird. Uh-huh. Barefoot basics. Talking about uh, like bears or whatever. No, 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 no. How would that even work? I don't know. I don't. It's. I know it's not Bollywood booty. <laughs> Weight loss. I need that. A bear booty workout. And maybe? they've got tons of these classes here. Oh wait, that's not right. I, I mean, like animals, bears. You know, like. Uh, I know what you mean. Like man. Uncle Buck. Or I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> or the great outdoors is what I'm thinking mm, of. Sure. Where they shot the bear and knocked all the fur off his rear end. Right. <laughs> so. Some of these look a little weird. But there's just tons of them, though. So many workouts. Well, it's the new year. Yes. You can really help you uh, augment your weight loss plan with your iPad. Absolutely. And there's bundles here. Uh, so this is where the bundles come in. Uh, you can buy bundled workouts. Um, yeah, I don't know. Some of them are, it's good. Ooh, baby workouts. You can work out your baby. <laughs> that would be good if you're having a baby. Work it out. Don't hurt the baby. Get that baby exercising early. It's never too young to work out. That's what I was there told. There you go. Oh, man. I am in for, I am in for quite quite a trip here <laughs> i've never been in this world of working out no much like many other people that maybe have an ipad nerd is me <laughs> fitness class it's a free application can't do anything for free though you have to pay for lessons or pay for passes 30 day pass um and i don't think it's too crazy expensive i mean if you compare this to like a gym membership then it's not insane because it's a it's like having a but guy that's your standard <laughs> yeah kind of well yeah and it's there's it's your own pace kind of thing you know what i mean you can watch mm-hmm. it over and make sure that you're doing the stuff right and it makes it's just that barrier of entry you know to working out Really so, lowers it. So I went into the app store here, and some of the top in-app purchases, thirty-day, uh, the thirty-day class pass is one of the big ones, and that's two ninety-nine. So you get a thirty-day mm. class for two ninety-nine. Not bad. The one I wanted to get, barefoot cardio, thirty-day pass, two ninety-nine. That's what I'm looking for right there. Uh, then there's a couple other thirty-day passes. Uh, one of them is ninety-nine cents. Not bad. Three ninety-nine. And the fitness class, whatever that is, seven ninety nine. So prices are prices may vary depending yeah. on what your workout is. And I think they adjust them on the popular popularity of the show. And uh, I mean, you pay more for the stuff that's selling, right? Yeah. Or course. if you want it more, mm-hmm. you can pay more. Yeah. The endurance stuff, you have to endure. It's pretty sweet. And that's cool. That's fun. awesome. It's like the future of personal trainers right there. And it's free. It is free. You can't beat that. Well, kind of free. <laughs> Sorry. It was a little bit of a, I was being a little facetious. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were. <laughs> uh, but let's get to our next application, something that is not facetious. It is paid or free if you want ads. Uh, live strong. You may know them from the Lance Armstrong, the guy with the yellow bracelets and stuff that that does the bicycling across the world. It's like he's like super fast. He's like as fast as Lance Armstrong. Sure. You know who I'm talking about? Lance Armstrong. Yeah. Do you know who that is? He's the guy who does Live Strong. You know, because the he was a cancer survivor. Oh. I didn't know that much about him. Uh well, you know, it was. I just saw those yellow things. The technical mm-hmm. is a, a cancer in a rather private area. I don't know if we oh, want to get into oh, it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but like it's uh, it's been a like a new a thing for him, a lifelong mm-hmm. 
goal to raise awareness because awareness needs to be raised. Yes. So this is Calorie Tracker. It is an <laughs> application that will help you um, kind of see what you're doing, like calorie wise, like uh, what you're eating. It'll help you keep on track with kind of your daily intake and exercise stuff. So it gives you, we, and we reviewed this on the show a little bit, a little bit ago. Steve actually reviewed this and he did a really good job uh, with doing that, but we wanted to bring it up again here um, because it gives you these really cool charts here. You can see my weight is going down quite a bit here I'm at 187 pounds. Actually, this is not mine at see, all. I don't believe it, Dave. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> no offense. Uh, I'm a big guy. I just don't believe it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but then you, you can put in what kind of foods you eat here. And what's cool about this app is it's a universal app that works on your iPad and on your iPhone. Because a lot of times, I mean, let's face it, you don't take your iPad everywhere with you. But you always have your iPhone on you. Yeah. And uh, you just put in your food that you eat in this app. It tracks it. And then you can do these big, nice graphs on your iPad here when you get home. It syncs it all together. You can see your daily calories, your calories remaining, uh, how much you've consumed, how much you've burned, all sorts of cool stuff. So you can go through here. Um Look at your weight, look at your food, look at your workouts, and sync your account to their livestrong.com uh, service. And it all makes it available in an easy-to-view and easy-to-read format right here on the iPad. And they have just recently come out with a free version that is ad-supported. Nice. So that is a big thing that we wanted to talk about on the show. So nice. Two ninety nine so. for the ad-free and free for the free with ads. But, yes. Good well, stuff. Good breakdown. Good stuff. Good company. Good uh, <laughs> Good everything. It's nice. just good all around. It'll make you feel good, too. It's important <laughs> thing. Yeah, i got to get into exercising. That's so, what everybody says. You know, that's what I tell myself all the time. <laughs> Usually, so. I, actually, I've went past that and I've said, I don't tell myself that at all anymore because I know it's not going to happen. <laughs> but now, with the help of the iPad... It will become a reality. Yeah, it's the little steps. If you can, if you can show yourself the small changes and benefits, it's easier to get mm -hmm. in it, you know. But I hope so. It's cold outside. I don't want to go walk anywhere. <laughs> oh, you have to walk? I don't know. You know, walking, running, all the other stuff. It's just a lot of sweat, right? You have to work for it, don't you? Yeah. That's why they call it a workout. Yeah, that might be a problem. <laughs> for me, it is. Cake's a lot easier than working out. <laughs> Especially if it makes itself. <laughs> Sitting in front of your iPad is a lot easier than working out, too. <laughs> Doing work is a lot easier than working out for uh, me. For sure. And I do too much work. But So, uh, well, how about we cover some news? News! Boom. iPad news. Look at that. <laughs> Boom. It just happens to be... That we have a lot of news. Well, actually, we don't have too much news, but we're number one. We're number one. Come on, Lane. <laughs> we're number one. Yay. We're number one. The iPad, of the, course, is the reluctant fan about. over here. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, Lane. You're you, you uh, Slowly you're iPad curious. There you go. Slowly converting, maybe. Yeah. So the iPad <laughs> has been named the top gadget or the top technology thing or just the thing of 2010 in a lot of places uh yeah. let's see let's go down the list here the number one gadget from time magazine nice that's a big deal time magazine well you know and maybe they think that they're just uh, throwing them a bone for that for not naming steve jobs the person of the year <laughs> so they're like uh oh, we'll give him gadget you know, that was whatever. that was the zuck right zuckerberg yeah that person of the year yeah <laughs> Yeah, but Steve Jobs didn't he drop a, a bunch of coin on a school district this year. Has he so. had it another time, though? He probably had it before. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> uh, but we care about the iPad. So, uh, number one times gadget of the year. And also, Google. The Goog. The Goog has rated it the number one fastest growing consumer electronics search 
on Google. So out of all the consumer electronics stuff that happened this year, the iPad was number one. Self-reported, too. They ranked it above their own Android operating system. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) and it was number two overall. What was number one? Number one was it the Bieber? Was it was not number number three was Justin Bieber. <laughs> Here, zoom in to me. Like Boom. This. iPad. <laughs> so you uh, like to whip your hair back and forth? I do actually. I got a video for you to see when we're done here. You do? It's epic. It's very epic. I can't open my links. This program stinks. Hey, that rhymed. You've been uh, watching too many Dr. Seuss specials. Yes. Uh, number one tech term on Twitter. Oh, yeah. Twitter came out with their own zeitgeistish kind of thing. Uh, and what? You all the like, great German words we use in the English language. Zeitgeist is not high on the list. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> it's like, what? Why are you even using that? <laughs> exactly. What? Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah. Yeah. It's silly. Uh, number one tech on Twitter and number one thing for Wired's top 10. Oh yeah. Wired magazine. Of course, Wired magazine invested a lot in their little iPad app. Yeah. And they're really hitting that hard. Hey, but cause it's the best going. <laughs> true. They just, when they were trying to figure out what's the best gadgets, they said, why don't we just recycle <laughs> the research we did for what platform we were going to use. <laughs> yeah. Or where the money's going. Yeah. Yeah. Duh. So, I mean, that's that's four big things right there. I mean, I'm sure there were much, there were many more outlets that have named it in the top of their list or in their list. And it was just a big, it was a big year for the iPad. I mean, it came out, it's weird to think that the iPad came out last year. Yeah. Was it last year? I thought it was this year. Or, uh, I keep doing that. You keep doing that. Uh, I, I haven't made was, the mental switch yet. Was it? The, was it? La- it was last year. Twenty ten. It, it came out in twenty ten, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because we haven't had a first anniversary yet, obviously, because right. we haven't had a second iPad. Because we haven't iteration. had any cake yet. Yeah. Because we're gonna have a cake for the one year anniversary, you know. You, you know? think so, huh? I'm I gonna, thought that was Android stuff. I'm gonna make a cake. I'm down with that. And we'll have it on the show. And we'll share it with all of you. Yes. We won't give you any, but we'll just show you. Us eating it, of course. And that's why, that's why I'm not losing weight, after all. Because I am so down with this cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's all that Froyo you've been eating. Oh, man. <laughs> you don't even know. See, when I Lane's full. a big Android guy, and there's a reason they named Android after sweets. It's because of Lane. There you go. I've been trying to get that gingerbread stuff to work, but... <laughs> It's just not working yet. Not yeah. for me. You don't like the low calorie gingerbread? <laughs> You're thinking of ginger ale, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking about. I'm just trying to be funny. And it's not working. Whatever. But a lot of other people were trying to be funny. And it's not working for them either. <laughs> because they tried to put all this stuff up on the internet of new iPad cases coming out for the next generation iPad. They thought they were cute. They thought they were... They looked pretty cute, too. I think they were pink. Yeah. So that makes it cute Well, they were, they were cute. They were cute. But they thought they were cute. I mean, to be fair. Exactly. And they put... They just... They just put... Can you believe... They, they put it on the internet. Yeah. They just I'm take sure a there's pic- some NDA that has been just, violated over and over by They that. just found a picture. I mean, how can someone take a picture and put it on the internet? I don't know. It's amazing to what, me. What a day we live in when people take pictures... And put them on the internet without people's approval. Of things they think that are interesting. Welcome to the 21st century, 2011 people. Yeah. What have we come to? But uh, <laughs> not only that, but the website that put these images up, they got an official sounding. How did they say? Did they say official sounding? or? No, they said it was an official takedown request. An official takedown request. So, from yeah. Who could that be? Yeah. I don't think it's the... There's only one kind of person that has the trademarks that are violated by, you know, them Or could it have been the case the manufacturer themselves? Because this, mm. this was through Alibaba.com, I believe. Yeah. Which is kind of like a clearinghouse, like, like the eBay of, like, 
mass produced items. So like mm. they make like all of like the 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 not not knockoff stuff, but like the kind of the generic stuff. Yeah, they this... sell a lot of that generic stuff. Oh, I see. So this is like in a generic iPad case that had been leaked out. Yeah, it's way. It's not even like this is a bad job that they did on a regular iPad case. There's no way you can stretch the imagination right? to make yeah. this work. It's got to be for a new version of the iPad. Yeah, and I mean, even in this case, they had like a little cutout on the back for the camera, and then this weird cutout on the back for like where the speaker is going to be moved to. It looked like a cheese grate on the back. It was kind of weird. Which I don't believe the speaker's going down there. I don't know if it's on this case. I mean. Why would you, and how would you, why take down notice for something? Ah, you know, you know I don't I mean? know. I guess, like, the first couple of things is, uh, how do you know about the take down notice thing? You know, is it real? Isn't it real? Whatever. Because that's exactly the kind of thing, if you want people to think it's real, you'd say, oh, there's a take down notice now. Sorry, guys. Boom. Done. It's in the, it's in the rule book of a genuine take down ability. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Well, it's their own website, so they could take it down, whatever. Yeah. But I don't know. The 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 speaker on the back? Weird. I know. Isn't it? I just, I thought you got so much more sound having the speakers come out of the side. Well, you get even more sound if you have the speaker come out the front. Indeed. It's kind of backwards to put it on the back. Yeah, but they, they filed a patent a while ago, I think, to have the front glass... Uh, perform as like an acoustic surface, make it into a speaker. I don't know, but it's not. Uh, Maybe they'll do virtual surround sound, where it actually just curves around your iPad, uses some kind of dynamic, uh, ergonomic sound ability. I think you're thinking of the Bose speakers or exactly maybe or something. Yeah. Have you ever seen the inside of one of these iPads? It looks like a Bose speaker. Does it? It does. It's crazy. <laughs> nice. Yep. Sound channels. Yeah, but Apple doesn't want to probably do dual branding. I think Bose are just about <laughs> as stuck on that as, yeah. as anybody. They want their name plastered all over whatever uh, it is you're selling yeah. of theirs. That would be pretty sweet, though, have Bose speakers built into your iPad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Only highs and only lows must be Bose. Wow. That's what they say. Is it? Yeah. It's good. Getting a little it's pretty good. audio file ish on you here. <laughs> Sorry. That's fine. That's the way we roll, That's people. Fine. Not my references, but mm-hmm. what do I know? <laughs> you know a lot. You know a lot. And if you want to find out what Lane knows, you can always go to our website. That's that right. is www.ipadshow.com. Com. Find lots more. Hey, look at that. It's flashing down at the bottom. That's not annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, there the, we go. iPadShow dot com, <laughs> and find out all of our find all of our old episodes on there. We have a lot of different feeds going on now. We've got like yeah, we've got app feeds and we've got news like the full episode shows, and then we've got like our Twitter thing going on there, and we've got like a Facebook presence, and we got we got like subscribe in iTunes and subscribe on MediaFly. That's not on the website, but no. um, like lots of different links. For you to connect with us, um, if you want to find us on Twitter, that is a very common place for people to find us. We are iPad Show on Twitter, and yes. that is just twitter.com slash uh, iPad Show, yep. not what it says down there for well, we're on YouTube. YouTube too. YouTube.com slash the iPad Show. Yeah. Yes, that is definitely true. <laughs> uh, and it's a good time to be had by everybody. You can watch all of our old shows. All of our new shows and all the shows that will come out in the future. You can't watch them yet, but when we get there, you'll be the first to know. Yeah, and you can find all that at just iPadShow.com and click on all the good stuff that's there. It's a blast, and it's a blast having you here, and it's time for us to go. We'll be back later with some more great iPad news and reviews. See ya. Yeah! Another great show. We are on fire. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Post show. I didn't record that. That's obviously a lie. Sorry. You didn't record that?